Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. For those of you that have been watching the channel, you would know that I've been working on a big motor Razor electric scooter that I've hacked and that I've been recently working towards building a big lithium battery where I've harvested a bunch of 18650 cells and then I've been working through the process of sorting them, charging them and testing them. But I was one cell short. Well, today I'm happy because I've found one laptop battery which hopefully will reveal itself of a good 18650 cell. I've not opened up a laptop battery before on the channel, so let's get to it. Let's open up a laptop battery and let's see if I can find a good 18650 cell. So let's get into opening up this laptop battery. It's actually a Hewitt Packard lithium iron battery. And I think what you'll find when you open this up, it'll probably reveal one, two, three, four, five, six of these 18650 cells. Well, that's what I'm hoping anyway. So the way you open these up, the way I've done in the past, I'd really just give it a good twist. And then just see what it'll reveal. There we go, I'm just gonna twist this way. Here we go. Got it there. And as you can see, it's got six cells in there. Just bust them apart. So excited, gonna be able to finish this big battery for the Razor electric scooter. Building in that 7S 8P configuration that we've been talking about. All right. Let's get the multimeter out and let's test these cells to see if they've got any voltage in them. Yep, a little bit low, but that one's got 3.3. .3. least it's not zero. Because remember, with all the sorting I've done so far, the ones that are down at zero are just no good. And let's have a look at this pair, which won't bust them apart just yet. Same, 3.3, .3. right on the lower end. Same. So it looks like potentially I've got six good cells. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to clean these up. Then I'm going to chuck them in the uh, Turnergy balance charger. And we're going to test these cells. Hopefully we get one good battery. And then we can crack on with building that 7S 8P lithium battery for the big motor Razor electric scooter. All right, so I've broken all these batteries apart now. And I realised that you guys couldn't see the multimeter before, so let's uh, test them all now. 3.22, 3.23, 3.23, 3.23, 3.23, 3.23, 3.23, 3.23, 3.23, 3.23, 3.23, 3.23, 3.23, 3.23, 3.23, 3.23, 3.23, 3.23, 3.23, 3.
quickly you can see the voltage is rising we'll come back probably take yeah, a couple of hours um, and we'll see uh, uh, the cells fully charged so I'm back the charger has just finished charging these four batteries you can see that it uh, it's taken uh, 4,926 milliamp hours into these four batteries, so uh, over 1,000 each, so approximately 1,250. Uh, that meets my threshold of the capacity that I'm trying to get out of all of these free cells that I'm going to build this uh, 7S 8P battery for the Big Moto Razor electric scooter. I'll mark these, measure the voltage. Hopefully we don't get any voltage drop of significance over the next few days. And hopefully for the next video, what you're going to see is me actually building the 7S 8 battery, planning to build it with bus bars, fusing each individual cell. So if you want to see that, subscribe to the channel. If you've got any comments, leave a comment below, like the video, and I will see you next time.